uh, before we go, I just want to talk to you guys just one for one more, a few more minutes before we wrap up this review. And I just wanted to have a quick chat with you guys about something. Forever in a Day deals with drugs um, towards the end, with Bond getting heroin injected into his body. And it it's, it's, it's didn't sound nice on the page. Um, like I said, it made me very unwell reading it. So, yeah, I, and the way it's described and the way it's detailed, and it's definitely an anti-drug message right there. And I would I'd just like to say that please don't do drugs. It is, I haven't had any experience myself personally, but I am aware of what it is. I think most of us by the time we're 18 are somewhat aware of it. Of it. Um, the, the effects can be devastating, horrible, and just absolutely terrible. You could get some very horrible, you could get some very nasty stuff from doing it, or you could do some very horrible stuff because you're, you've done this. And it's just, yeah, it's, 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 don't do it. Just don't take drugs at all, ever. Don't, don't ever stoop to that low. Don't ever do any, unless it's legal drugs that are absolutely fine. And even then, be careful about the amount of use, like alcohol and tobacco. Be careful, they can kill. Um, but at least with those ones, they're okay legally. But ones that are not so good, even if they're proved, scientifically proven to be better, it's still advisable not to go near them. Um, in fact, if you can, just avoid them altogether. Uh, medicine is fine. That's no problem with that. Um, rec uh, but if recreational drugs are illegal in play in countries, there's a reason for that. Um, there's a reason why um, alcohol and smoke and tobacco could be illegalized in other countries. Look at the um, what was it called? The part time in America where alcohol was illegalized for a, illegal for about a decade. Um, can't quite remember remember what it was called, but it was. Yeah, there was a reason for that. Although I think, besides medicine, drugs, I think alcohol is the one that should never be illegalized. Um, smoking, I would be fine with, but especially as I, bleh, I have asthma, I don't like people smoking around me, and I hate it when the smoke gets in my face and in my lungs. But you know, if they want to smoke, fair enough on them. Um, it's illegal, so as long as you're of the appropriate age. Yes, somehow smoking is allowed at sixteen, but alcohol is eighteen in the UK for some reason. Uh, and 21 in America. What is going on? But the point of this short little bit was to ask you just to stay away from illegal and dangerous recreational and non-recreational drugs. Just stick to the ones that are legal. Stick to and don't overdo overdo the med. Um, don't overtake the medicine. Um, just stick with what's been said to be fine. And even if the ones that have been said to be fine, the uh, illegal ones, just stick stay away from them just to be on the safe side. It might even be just be better if you don't don't take any at all. Just apart from medicine, maybe alcohol, maybe tobacco, uh, but stay away from any others. That's that's all. Just stay away. Um, it can be a terrible experience. And as of this video right now, this channel is going anti-drug. Um, as um, this never in I've never had a video on this channel that has any drugs on this channel apart from maybe the start of a fun with drugs film where one of my uni classmates may have been smoking i can't quite remember if it was an actual cigarette or not but besides that um no uh, proper drugs are on this channel no alcohol no cigarettes tobacco products medicine the only drugs you'll get on this channel besides the the actual cigarette that one of my classmates had at the start of that short film the only ones you'll get are fiction drugs. So the other drugs in that short film, the effects of wood, which is basically an anti-drug message itself. Um, and they're basically fictional drugs. Those, Apart from that one cigarette at the start, or I think it was a cigarette anyway, at the start of Fun With Drugs. I can't even quite remember. I, had to, I should have checked. Um, but apart from that, there are no drugs on this channel in any way besides fictional ones. And even then, that said short film that we did with that one cigarette that may have been smoked by my friends and the other um the effects of wood um short film i've done both of them are kind of anti-drug in a way themselves um the, the effects of uh wood one definitely are more anti-drug the effects of wood definitely is very anti-drug whilst um fun with drugs is more of a um battle against depression short um short film alongside maybe a bit of a anti-drug message as well perhaps but besides that one cigarette that my friend was smoking um at the start of that short film that we made 
Um, there are no real drugs in any videos on this channel. You, I don't even bring alcohol to drink with me sometimes, uh, like my friend Ollie Paycheck does sometimes in his videos. Um, I, I just stick with water, maybe apple juice, uh, squash sometimes, but uh, maybe some Coke, uh, Coca-Cola or something, just so you, soft drinks and water, basically. So uh, unless there was a special occasion, perhaps, um, I wouldn't have alcohol on me um, when doing these videos. So, yeah, and I don't smoke, so none of that. You just got that one from the start of Fun With Drugs, and that wasn't even me. And all the other drugs that are appearing in other videos will be fictionalised and will stick to short films and stuff. They will not be done in reviews unless it's for a sketch purpose, uh, purposes of a sketch. Um, so that's, I just wanted to get that message out there, and I just wanted to explain that this channel is going officially anti-drug. And we'll stay anti-drug unless maybe we get a sneaky little cigarette in some short films, perhaps, but, uh, or some alcohol, perhaps. But besides that, this is an anti-drug channel. In fact, all my channels are now going anti-drug, and I'll even extend that to the Hooniversal. So hope the other members are okay with that. And I well, it's Doctor Who related. It we it, we should be, um, unless it's fictional ones. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching my Forever and a Day review. If you've if you've done that. And my ranking of the five 2008 to, uh, well, 2008 onwards continuation James Bond novels ranking. And I'm glad we had this chat. And I hope you've taken something in as part of it. So I just want to say thank you for listening. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Nicholas Payne YouTube channel. A little edition piece to uh, Forever in a Day's review. I think most of us, by the time we're 18, uh, eight, um, although I don't think alcohol should... Is, I think alcohol um, is, the, is the least... Although I think alcohol is the one that, that is not medicine that should not be our... Uh, really, I mean, ugh. The only drugs you'll get on this channel besides the start of that... Fun with apart from that first cigarette in the far in the and even then I've had I've had a film a short I've done a short but besides that one cigarette in at the start of that film that my friend may have been smoking um that that my friend that but, but yeah until but yeah thank you for watching this um message at the end of the well actually I've decided not to put it at the end of the review now um because it's going on a bit too long but thank you for watching this short video thank you for watching my trigger more uh. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, and I'm glad we had this chat. Um, I hope you can see where I was coming from, and I hope you've taken something. Um, you've taken...